Welcome to Inside the Deal. I'm Suzanne Stevens. With me today is James Backus. Jim is a former Democratic congressman from Florida and also a former chairman of the appellate body of the World Trade Organization. Well, how serious a threat is protectionism to free trade? Uh, protectionism is uh, the hydra-headed beast that could consume our future. And we're looking at new kinds of protectionism uh, now in this economic crisis. It's it's possible that there could be a resurgence of tariffs, so even consistent with some WTO rules that uh, would turn down uh, the global economy. But more likely, the threat will come from non-tariff barriers to trade, from subsidies, from economic nationalism in terms of financial protectionism. We need to be mindful of all those things as we try to recover the American economy because inextricably our fate is uh, caught up with that of others around the world. Well, what does the Obama administration need to do to, uh, to stay within the parameters and, and keep protectionism at bay? Above all, what uh, President Obama needs to do on trade is what uh, he does so well in so many other areas. He needs to speak candidly and frequently with the American people. He needs to explain why. Uh, we cannot turn inward, why we cannot turn away from trade, why we cannot turn away from others in the global economy if we hope to prosper. He's saying a lot of the right things right now. Uh, he has uh, said some important things about the need not to turn inward uh, and engage in protectionism. The World Bank is predicting that uh, our uh, global volume of trade is going to decline this year for the first time in 27 years. This is not something that is uh, a possibility over the horizon. This is happening now. Uh, among the uh, reasons why uh, trade is declining is the lack of trade finance. Uh, those who want to trade internationally can't get credit, just as we can't get home loans here in the United States or, or, or commercial credit for our, uh, local companies. This needs to be our, our priority. And I think the president is well positioned and well prepared, and so are his key aides. Jim, I also wanted to touch on the uh, DOA development round of talks. Um, how well prepared do you think uh, President Obama is to get those talks going again and also to focus talks on more 21st century issues like uh, technology and, and, and global investment? Well, the world has been waiting for the president to assume office so that we could move forward with the DOA development round. And, uh, it would be a very good idea to do so, and right away. That's the single best way we could give a shot in the arm to the world economy right now. It won't cost a dime. It won't add to the deficit. Lowering barriers to trade will spur uh, trade, spur economic growth. We should do it, definitely, and we need the political will, and it can only come from the president. Beyond that, uh, only if we conclude the Doha round successfully will we be able to move forward into a 21st century agenda for trade that moves beyond the traditional realm of tariffs and uh, market access into services, investments, high technology, competition policy, uh, labor, environment, energy, climate change, and so much more, all of which are a part of global trade and global commerce. Former Congressman James Backus, thanks so much for coming by. I'm Suzanne Stevens. Thanks for watching Inside the Deal.